Okay, I've been asked, how can we get uh, regular assignments uh, put into Schoology so that way there's an easy format to uh, have the kids submit the information without uh, producing a lot of back-end work for us. So this is my best solution for this. This is what I used in the first half of my uh, year this year, is you come into Schoology, you go underneath add materials and then we're going to add test and quiz all right so i have one that i've already made okay this is what i used in the first half of the year and this was a homework check so the kids they had a homework assignment and they had these uh, physics problems that they had to answer now yes i did go back through and i typed in all these questions and i made it as fill in the blank responses but you don't have to retype every single item. Okay, so what I want to do is show you how I went about uh, creating a homework check from a normal homework assignment. So here we go. Underneath the questions, I'm going to click Add a Question. And I'm going to come down here to fill in the blank. Okay, so I go in the fill in the blank. And what I want to do is I want to put a picture of my homework assignment. I don't want to redo everything. Maybe it's an image. Maybe it's uh, complex uh, uh, formulas that we have to put down. And it's just not real uh, easy to put that information in a text editor. So it's so much easier sometimes just to have handwritten stuff. How do you put that in here? Okay, here's what you do. You need to have a copy of, as soon as I can get this darn thing to close for me, all right, I'll just do this. So what you have to have is a copy of your, your work, okay? So this is just a PDF. It could be a scanned image. This is, and you can tell that this is not uh, handwritten. It's not typed up by me. It's just a picture that I scanned in, okay? I cannot put the PDF into that particular question, but what I can do is I can take a picture of the screen and then that picture I can put into my question. To accomplish this on the Mac, you press the Shift, Command, and 4 button, or 4, I guess, key, and you're going to notice a little crosshair came up. What this is going to do is it's it's going to take a screen capture of whatever you highlight. So right here, again, I pressed Shift, Command, and 4 all at the same time. And you'll notice right down here at the bottom, it just made a picture of that paper. And again, it could be anything. It could be a picture of a, of a, a classroom. It could be a picture of outside. It could be a picture of a cell. It could be uh, any formulas that you'd want to cover. Okay, so we have that on the desktop, and again, that uh, image, it's going to be right here, okay? So inside of Schoology, I have my fill-in-the-blank. I'm going to come over here to Insert Content, and I'm going to click Image. We attach the image that we just created, so it's going to be this one right here, okay? And it could be of anything that you want. All right, now it does come in and it's going to be very, very large. You can, you can change the size of this to whatever you want it to be. You want it bigger, you want it smaller. Uh, you can double click the image and then you can say, I only want this thing to be 800 uh, by uh, 1,134. 1, we'll update that. Or you can, you can change this to be whatever size that you want it to be. Okay, so I'm going to go 600 by... Uh, maybe 800 just to get it done and over with. All right. So we have the, the work that you want to have put in here. Now we want to provide a space for a kid to put the answers in. So question one, we have a force of 800. You've got your distance, how much work is done. So you'd have to multiply that out. Underneath, you go answers... Oops, if I'd spell it right, answers to the questions. I'm going to go number one, and then you 
hold down on the shift and then the minus key to get an underline. Now you'll notice that right as soon as I got that underline, it brought up a space that I can put my answers. Now those answers, uh, you want to make sure that if we're gonna do this, you have the correct answer because if not, it's gonna really uh, throw you off and you have to go back through each one. So I've got uh, 800 times 40, we've got 32,000. So I'm gonna put in 32, one, two, three, 32,000. And this is where I'm saying you have to be careful. See, if it's 32,000, you gotta think about what is the way that these kids might put it in. Maybe they put it in with a comma. So what you wanna do is you wanna try to think about what are the ways that a student can put it in so that way, regardless of which, which answer it is, you've, you've got it covered. So you go question two, question two, underline. Okay, now I didn't look at the, the, the work, so let's say this is 14,000, I'm sure it's not, but you get the point. And you go through for each one of these, filling in uh, a blank space for each answer, and all of that is just answers from the, what we have from a scanned picture, okay? When you're finished with that question, you do wanna say, you do want to say that you want to allow partial credit because this, listen, there were, there were, there's going to be eight plus uh, answers for this because some of them you got one, two, we have three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 questions, 15 questions for this. So when everything is said and done, you say, I want this to be 15 points. But if you don't click this allow partial credit, if they get one answer wrong, they get zero, okay? So we'll click create question. Oh, we have cannot leave, an, oh, I, I, left, uh, I left this answer blank. So let's put in just a generic answer here for this. We'll create the question. And now let's preview this thing. If I go preview, start attempt, you're gonna notice all the way down at the bottom here you go. Here's our picture that we had. Down here, we have the blank spaces that the kids are going to put in the answers for. They click Submit, and then you can grade it. All right. Uh, when the, the information does come in for the results, you might want to view the questions that the kids have put in just to make sure that, you know, they they didn't put a comma in the wrong spot, or maybe they put a space in between the zeros, and it's an easy check. After they've all put it in, you click this uh, results, you go view by question, and let's say I wanna look at everybody's responses for question one, click that, and all down here, you're gonna see all the kids' responses that they put in, okay? Uh, Hopefully that uh, will cover some of the, the demands that our math department's gonna need, or maybe anybody else that needs uh, to put in just a, a picture of text and then just ask for uh, generic responses, okay? Let me know if you have questions.